Victoria and Cole reach an agreement with Claire, and Audra cleans house. Hello everyone, my name is Oliver. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Nick teases Adam for being late at Newman, but Adam claims he's on time. They joke about and agree that they need to go into the office together and impress their father. In the office, Victor leaves a voicemail for Nikki in which he expresses his love for her and then disconnects. Nick and Adam make their way in with their presentation. According to Nick, they devised a sound strategy. Adam thinks he might be impressed. Let's hear it, Victor says. Adam and Nick begin speaking at the same time. Then Nick adds, you go. Adam begins the talk, and Nick immediately joins in. They then take turns in a seamless manner. Victor determines that he likes it. So, it warms my heart to see both of you working together for my company. He beams. Your business. The family business. It makes him a proud father. He's been wishing for it for a lot longer than they realize. He considers leaving a legacy, saying, that's all. In the end, that means anything. It makes him delighted to know that his lads are finally cooperating. Cole and Victoria debate Claire's request to visit Jordan at society. Cole believes they should assist her in regaining control of her life. Victoria is concerned that seeing Jordan may set Claire off. She comments that the judge may sign off on it, but the rest is up to them, arranging the trip to Oregon, putting security in place. What if this irritates Claire even more? Cole believes Claire is stronger now. It took bravery for her to approach them with this request. I saw you in her. Victoria beams. She noticed it as well, and she recognizes Cole in her. Cole claims Claire is determined that she has to see Jordan in order to proceed. Victoria is concerned about her vulnerability. Should they stand by and allow Jordan do further damage to her heart? Victoria is unsure whether Claire will accept them as her parents. Cole warns that it will take time. Victoria wishes she could find a way to break through. Maybe we trust her. Cole suggests. Victoria is skeptical given the hazards, but Cole believes that if this is what will help Claire become healthy, they should consider it. Claire tosses and turns in her memorial room, dreaming that Victoria is shrieking and hissing at her, that she is precisely where she belongs. Cole joins in on the fun in the nightmare, and Victoria screams that she's a monster. Claire addresses Victoria as mom, and Victoria responds, never call me that, ever. Claire jerks awake and rises from her bed. Jack and Kyle, do you have any idea what you've done? Audra screams at Kyle. He lives for dismembering his adversaries. Kyle smiles, not if I don't get to him first. Audra believes he just doesn't get it. You want to win, Tucker wants to destroy. Kyle boasts that his family has already harmed Tucker, saying, all I have to do now is finish the job. Audra begs him to listen, saying, Tucker is lethal when there's no emotional investment, but it's personal with the abbots. When he comes for him and his family, it will be unlike anything he has ever experienced. Kyle and Audra argue as he scoffs at McCall's inability to take a punch. Audra claims that there are weapons far more harmful than a fist, and Tucker is well-versed in all of them. And here you are, his trusty little cheerleader, Kyle smirks. When will you realize you don't need that scum? Audra claims Tucker has always had her back, and Kyle didn't even warn her. Kyle claims he persuaded his father to exclude her from the situation. Audra is willing to take a chance with Tucker. Kyle can't believe he didn't recognize her for who she is. Audra scoffs, maybe because the sex was so good. Kyle had high hopes for the two of them, saying, too bad you don't have the guts to think for yourself. Audra tells him to go. How's mom? Nick inquires of Victor at Newman. Victor claims that things are up and down, but she knows she has their backing. They go over what could have happened if Jordan had been in charge. Victor is confident that they will all figure it out together. When Nick inquires about Victoria, 
Victor responds that she is determined to be Claire's mother. They're both concerned about it. They triumph over the Newmans due to their power and tenacity, which distinguishes them as combatants. Victor congratulates Nick on finding a method to collaborate with Adam. Nick swears to give it his all. Victor hopes he understands where he belongs. Victoria and Cole return to Claire's room and assure her they'll assist her in seeing Jordan. Cole realizes why she must do this. Claire expresses gratitude to them. She notices Victoria's displeasure. Victoria acknowledges that she is concerned about Jordan's impact on her. But if this is what she requires, she will assist her in crossing over. However, I have one condition. Claire suspects that Victoria and Cole will only assist her if she agrees to continue seeing them. Cole reminds her that they will respect her decision not to visit them, but that they hope she will reconsider. Victoria says the only condition is that they accompany her to Oregon. Claire says no, that's not right. They have families and lives. Victoria assures her she is now family. Claire doesn't deserve it, and she says, I can't do this. Cole sighs, noting that they are there to assist and that they have time to make the trip. He can write his book wherever he wants. Victoria admits to leaving Newman. You quit your job because of me, Claire exclaims. Jack tells Ashley at the Abbott house that he hopes Tuck is gone for good. Kyle storms in, yelling that he saw Audra and confronted her about blowing up their plans. I told her I wanted nothing more to do with her. Kyle screams about being in such a strong relationship with Tucker and admits that he showed up at her suite. And, Jack inquires, Kyle believes Tucker claims he is unconcerned about their attack. Ashley thinks it was just his usual bluster, but Kyle says it was more. It got physical. Ashley wonders if Tucker has become violent. Kyle admits he was the only one that threw a punch. Ashley is unhappy and goes away. Audra tells Tucker at the club, I don't need anyone who's going to hold me back. Tucker expresses gratitude to her for forewarning him about Kyle, saying, It's good that you're getting him out of your system once and for all. She says, He's not the only one I'm getting out of my system once and for all. Tucker begs her not to tell him she's leaving him as well. Audra informs him that his lovesick revenge nonsense is a recipe for catastrophe and that she will have nothing to do with it. Tucker claims he is not lovesick and that he cannot do this without her. He dangles Jabot, but Audra says it's only a matter of time before her name is dragged into the McCall affair, ruining her. Tucker resolves not to let this happen. You've previously trusted me. Now trust me. That was before this love-slash-hate thing you have with Ashley and her family. Audra shakes her head. Ashley enters as Audra declares, This is about your feelings and I want no part of it. At Newman, Nick tells his father that he is optimistic about the future and that working with Adam has been enjoyable. Did you ever think I'd say those words? He implies that it could have been a cage match. Victor laughs. Your blood... They are a force to be reckoned with when they work together. Nick notices Adam working hard. Victor encourages him to never fall at the terrible traumas inflicted on his brother's psyche. When he arrived in town, he felt excluded from their intimate friendship. It pleases him that Nick is prepared to collaborate with him. Nick is aware that he has a lot to contribute. And to answer your question, yes, I know this is where I belong. Victor nods and says, Good. Adam arrives at society and informs her that the presentation was out of the park. He and Nick were in harmony, which pleased their father. Sally is ecstatic about him. Adam and Nick are both pleased with themselves. For the first time in forever, they took a positive stride forward in their relationship. The only thing he could desire more is a celebratory supper with her. Sally acknowledges that her client has just cancelled. She is concerned that having lunch and dinner in the same day will be too much for her. There is no such thing as too much of her, according to Adam. Sally is willing to take risks. Victoria tells Claire in her room that her work will be waiting for her when she is ready.
Claire is perplexed as to why she would make such a sacrifice. Victoria claims that Newman is essential to her, but my family will always come first. Claire claims she has done more than enough for her. You owe nothing to me. I'm a stranger who contributed to your family's ordeal. This makes no sense to her. Cole understands that it may be difficult for her to comprehend how a typical family functions, but this is what they do. They love unconditionally. Victoria says she and Cole want to accompany her to show their support and be there for her. It will be quite tough for her to confront her Aunt Jordan. Claire explains that the love she was reared on was hate and falsehoods. I'm a lie. She should inquire as to why. How could she do such a thing to an innocent child and call it love? Perhaps asking the questions will help her improve. As a result, I accept your condition, but you must accept mine. Cole inquires, what's that? We go together, Claire explains, but I face my aunt alone. Jack and Kyle discuss him being at the top of Tucker's enemy list at the Abbott residence. Kyle reveals that he threatened to come after them all. He's going to have to prove that he's on top, Jack says. All I hope is that he keeps Ashley out of it. Audra asks Tucker in the club dining room if he really knows what he wants anymore. Is he out to punish Ashley and her family, or is he out to win her back? Tucker will make a vow to her. Audra intervenes. His promises are no longer meaningful. I'm leaving, Tucker. You're completely on your own. He's over there. Audra storms up to Ashley. Take your pick. It never ends with you two and your twisted dance. Audra, Ashley says, I'd like to talk to you. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my Isa Media to our channel and stay with Tears.